uh, at our preschool we have a dynamic student-centred bilingual program right from entry level from two three years old so petit section and our learning is organised across the whole week shared by two teachers a native speaker of French and a native speaker of English or German so the children go from one language to the other on alternate days. What we try to install right from the beginning is motivation and joy in their learning. We have a program that is for each learner so it doesn't matter when the child enters our system we will cater to their language to their language level so we have children who come in with zero French we have children who come in with zero English uh, we have children who come to us with two other languages and we pick them up wherever they are and we work with them and we move them forward on their personal learning journey. We are very conscious of instilling in the children from the earliest age a notion of bilingualism, biculturalism and intercultural understanding that they get from exposure to different children and adults speaking different languages and cultures uh, and speaking about their different culture with them on a daily basis. So obviously the children are learning two languages at the same time, whether it's French and English or French and German. And so we're conscious of looking to the French national curriculum which is mobiliser langage for their age group, but also the acquisition of a second language and we use the common European framework of languages to guide their learning. So whether the child is uh, fluent in English, fluent in French, only just beginning in English, just beginning in German, it doesn't really matter, we cater to all of them because we have mixed ability classes and absolutely everything that we do caters to all those different levels of language. And the interactions that they have with the stronger students help to bring their language level up and then the fact that the stronger language learners are helping them is very motivating and encouraging for those native speakers. It's well documented that learning languages other than your mother tongue from an early age can have a lot of advantages. It's a lot to do with the music of the language, so the earlier the child hears on a daily basis the music of that other language, uh, the better their accent will be, the better their general understanding will be of the nuances within the language. Um, children, it's true what they say about children, they are sponges and at that early age they are very curious and they don't have too many inhibitions and it's a perfect time to expose them to as much as possible. The children progress in all different ways and it's very much dependent on their personality. Even as adults we can be more or less gregarious in our communications and that shows even at the early age. We might think that a child who is shy is not learning as much of the language in the beginning simply because that child is not producing as much language but it's all going in that child is regis registering all the language that they are exposed to and it might take one child three years to start producing language and another child will come to us in September and be producing complex sentences within a month each child is different, but we see definitely the progression that's happening in each child along the way. Often people think that to learn another language, we sit down and we do a language lesson, as an adult learner might do when uh, they have already finished school. Uh, we don't entirely work on an immersion method. The children are immersed in the language, and everything we do is either in French or English or German. Uh, if they need to go to the toilet, we talk about going to the toilet in English. 
uh, if we need to have, if the child is thirsty or hungry, we will talk about that in English, their basic needs, we will do through the immersion method. But we also, again looking to the common European, European framework of languages, we track the children through the very strict pre-A1, A1, A2 progression of language development. No matter what level of language the child has, the child participates in their English day or their German day just as they would in a French day. So that means that the instructions are delivered in English, uh, all their basic needs are catered to through an interaction in English. If necessary, we will bring in a little bit of their mother language if we can to make sure the child is comfortable and reassured. But generally, whether it's art, sport, maths, science, it doesn't matter which part of the, which part of the curriculum we're working on, it will be delivered for the most part, if not entirely, in English. So typically, um, I will share with my French team teacher, I share the week. And so on English days, I will do maths with the students, but then on French days, the French teacher will also do maths with the students. So we don't actually divide the curriculum up where the French teacher only does this and the English teacher only does this. We're constantly working together to share. And that's what demonstrates to the children as well that it's possible to be bicultural and bilingual and to have intercultural awareness. The children observe their two teachers constantly working together. They observe in what way we are different and in what way we are the same and that we can work perfectly well together.